like there's gonna be a brawl. Ready something to a street fight, man. Gene Sambo! Just hit G8. If you like King and Colada. This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. Exciting news, everyone. The G7 Summit just took place. Huh? I know a lot of you are saying, because you're wondering what it is. Well, let me tell you about it. You see, there's these secret meetings. You know, some are more secret than others. I mean, they do admit that they're going to meet, but of course, everything discussed in there is done in private. And then they come out and tell you what they talked about, when it should be filmed and recorded. Pretty much... Everything that these people do in secret probably should be filmed and recorded, if you have the stomach to take it, of course. And we had all of President Biden, Queen Elizabeth, they all met together. They do this quite often, the Bilderberg meetings, right? Now what they do is they come out and they tell you what these meetings are about. They'll say, hey, you know, we talked about global warming and what we need to do. Really what they do is they talk about how they're going to push global warming and how they're going to convince people what's going on and how they're going to convince people that they need the jab because that was the main topic, getting one billion doses of the jab ready for all of us to line up and get. I can't wait for mine. (laughs) I know you guys can't either. But man, Queen Elizabeth even showed up and she cut the cake as you see from this. She's cutting a cake probably after cutting the cutting wind and this is how they celebrate what they do there. You know, they celebrate together they have a great time talking about these things leaders people love it they're like oh the world leaders Incidental things happen right around the area. You know, tragic find. Body found near the G7 summit where war leaders gather as cops probe unexplained death. No correlation, folks. I was just pointing it out because I was researching the G7 event and what happened, and this came up. So, I mean, I'm not saying there's anything connected there. I'm not saying play a game of Connect the Dots, which is a great game for kids, by the way, Connect the Dots. I'm not saying pin the tail on the donkey either. I'm just going to read you what popped up here. You can piece it together for yourself. And, of course, my condolences to the victim and their families here. This is in no way, shape, or form funny at all. Um, A body was found by North Cliffs near where the G7 summit is currently taking place, coincidentally. Rescue workers from the St. Ives RNLI and the Coast Guard, as well as a rescue helicopter, were involved in the search a few days ago. As you can see here, the right off of this cliff here, which is just eight miles away from where the G7 leaders have gathered for their summit. Hmm. A body was discovered near what is called Hell's Mouth. Coincident, number two coincidence. Hell's Mouth, interesting name, right? Well, it's Hell's Mouth, Paul, because there's lots of rocks and, you know, lots of these places, by the way. If you notice, I don't know how much... 
for many of you that like, you know, go to national parks, you travel, you will find a lot of sketchy places in the middle of nowhere that are state parks, not necessarily national parks like Yosemite or the Rocky Mountains, that have these names like Devil's Hand, Devil's Foot, Hell's Mouth. Pretty interesting. And it almost these places look like sites of like you know, rituals. Now, this one's obviously in the water, so it's a little bit different, but nonetheless, the body was discovered near Hell's Mouth, which is just eight miles from the G7 summit. There is nothing to discuss the, the discoveries connected to the summit, the article says. Well, of course not. I wouldn't be hinting at that. No one else should either. The death is being treated as unexplained, but not suspicious. <laughs> well, I don't know about you, but when death is unexplained, the first thing you should probably be is suspicious. But in this case, they want you to know that it is an unexplained death, and it's not suspicious. Oh, holy moly. <laughs> what time did you guys, what time were you guys born today, right? <laughs> Give me a break. I <laughs> born yesterday. A spokesperson for the Maritime and Coast Guard Agency said at approximately 11.15 on June 11th, the Coast Guard assistance was requested by Devon and Cornwall police in the North Cliff area. Fourteen Coast Guard rescue team, excuse me, Port, Port Treath Coast Guard rescue team, tongue twister, and the St. Ives RNLI lifeboats were sent alongside the search and rescue helicopter from New Quay. Devon and Cornwall police said in a statement, police attended an area near Bassett Cove, Cornwall, after a body was located around 1130. Colleagues from the Coast Guard and the RNLI also assisted officers at the scene. Police are currently treating it as an unexplained death, but there are no thoughts to be any... There, I'll be give you the exact quote. Police are currently treating the death as unexplained, but there are not thought to be any suspicious circumstances. No suspicion at all. I'm not suspicious at all. I just, you know, I was going to cover the G7 summit and all the wonderful things that our world leaders are doing together. And co coincidentally, of course, I mean, very coincidentally, or should I say, not suspiciously, this, <laughs> see what I did there? This article popped up at the same time. So I thought I'd share it. And of course, in all seriousness, my condolences to the, the victim here who, uh, I guess unexplained. He, uh, he took an unexplained, uh, had an unexplained accident here at Hell's Mouth. But uh, condolences to the victim. No suspicion here. And then, you know, I guess right afterwards, Queen Elizabeth decided to cut the cake. You know, because that's a normal thing. So, for those that don't know these events like this one, your world leaders from the U.S., Italy, France, Japan, Canada, Germany, and the U.K. all get together. What could they be talking about? Well, your best interest. Or what's in their best interest and how to control and manipulate you. The summit, made up of the world's wealthiest, largest democracies and close allies, is designed to discuss economic and international policies. Wink, wink, right? I mean, very serious stuff here. And these guys are just, they're, you know, it's great that they're getting together to meet to help. Maybe they can, like, figure out how to make people's lives easier, less stressful, you know. Or they could just meet and figure out how they can get the jab at everyone because that's what they're doing. What policies can they do? Who can they push? What ways can they do it? You know, how can they manip? What could they give away for free now, right? That's what these things are. Now, I'm wondering here, because this is June 13th, this occurred, we're right on the cusp of the Bohemian Grove, folks. For those that don't know, Bohemian Grove covered it for years. They meet up in the old Bohemian Grove in Northern California. They get together, very disturbing, the men, the powerful rich men. The women have their own version, as I've said before, of the Bohemian Grove as well, probably led by Hillary. Um, who's, uh, well, that's not even a probably, it's known fact, but 
they meet up they meet as well in a secret place of the eastern star they keep them separated mainly because they like to bring in uh, especially beginning you grow young youngsters you know to help out you know to be helping hands literally Ugh, disgusting stuff and this is where they plot and ploy and come up with you know the bohemian grove what's funnier about that compared to the g7 is the bohemian grove the people that go there you would get a kick out you'd laugh like conan o'brien's you know like the celebrities of the world who have been, who have platforms to manipulate along with like you know so you get like a conan o'brien a jimmy kimmel a jimmy found then you get the editors of like new york times washington post then you get the editors of NBC News. Then you get the CEOs of Coca-Cola, the CEOs of Pepsi, the CEOs of you know Nabisco, right? What a coincidence! So the for the controllers of influence, the uh, media, the controllers of food, uh, agriculture, you know, and then of course you get your politicians, right? And then the stories that usually come out, you know, obviously we all heard the and saw the uh, control leak. Of Bohemian Grove of Jones, or maybe, maybe some of you have, and I don't know how many of my old listeners still listen, but they had a controlled leak from there once, where they supposedly showed what happened, and it was completely controlled because he would have been put down, uh, <laughs> you know, if they didn't want him to film and show something. Um, but it doesn't show you what really occurs. There are stories that have come out uh, from people who were victims in the you know, Franklin cover up and things like that of what really goes on there. Uh, even like, you know, fame photographers, uh, guys like Hunter S. Thompson, those people go there, they film it, they, you know, dot, 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 snuff it. I mean, it's the sickest crap. But these are our world leaders. This is what they do. We elect them, you know, because we vote. Our, it counts, right? <laughs> and then they go and they party in the woods and they talk about these things. And then they're like, well, let's bring in uh, Puff Daddy and Conan O'Brien and those types of people, huh? And people just still, they don't believe in social engineering, they don't believe in social influence, even though they even openly admit it now. And these people just come up with the ways that they're going to, what the agendas are already played out, and how they're going to get these across, and what type of techniques they're going to use. That's what they do. And that's how we've gotten where we are, one of the ways, of course, and then having a society of cupcakes, naive people and fruits, doesn't help, because, you know... All they're cared about is what's going on on the highway that's known for Hershey, and they don't seem to care at all about the real stuff that's going on because things in their head don't function properly, and that's kind of part of what that whole thing's about. But that's another story for another day, which I you know, talk about on my website and say, callforanuprising.com, and again, there's a lot of stuff going on over there, so check it out if you haven't. This is the G7 Summit, folks. Just somebody, you know, horrible story just right up the road while all of these people, you know, you'd also think, right? common sense would say, wow, Queen Elizabeth, President Biden, a lot of security, in other words, right? And there is a lot of security at Bohemian Grove, Bilderberg, G7, because they don't want people like you or me, they, they fear that we would show up. I mean, I would never show up. <laughs> One, I'm not dumb, too. I mean, I'm good. I'm, these people make me sick enough. I don't know. I think I would, I would ooze out vomit out of my pores if I saw these people in person, because they're not people, they're demons. But anyway... The security must have been unbelievable, and I'm talking within a 10-mile radius there, so, you know, I guess this guy just, you know, just went on a count at four down the road there, you know, eight miles ain't that far, and, uh, you know, this happened, but, you know, coincidences happen, right? <laughs> oh, boy. Unbelievable, folks, just another rich, you will sack, refines. That's how it works, right in front of your faces. I thank you guys for listening to today's show. God bless all of you and your families. There's an arms race going on. The weapon in his land. Fight on.